Hey guys, Tanner with TRRV Sales. Here's a look at the new Bullet 250BHS. A bit of a step up from a Bullet Crossfire in their standard Bullet line. Uh, one of the upgrades that I do like that Bullet does is here on their docking station, they call it, all your controls for your uh, power leveling jacker right here. Um, hot and cold outside shower that comes with a uh, coil holes, quick connect coil hose, and then all your water connections and everything are just kind of nice and tucked away. Really cleans up the side of the coach. Um, we'll swing around to the other door side. That whole pass through storage, it's a wider compartment door this year as well. Um, nice, huge awning. I love the big awning on the 250 BHS. Uh, so you can see from the 243 bullet. They swapped the doors around. Now you go in right to the bathroom back here. Uh, a nice thing that you have here that you usually lose when the bathroom is on the door side is an outside kitchen. So they actually give you a little outside kitchen area right in the center underneath your awning. Super nice. But we'll uh, solid steps. That's an upgrade from a crossfire as well. And we'll head in here right inside the door. Ton of extra storage behind that entertainment center. And then when you go in, bathroom's right here. I like instead of traveling through the coach to get to your bathroom, you have a nice big bathroom right here. Big double over double beds again. Uh, all the windows on both beds. Storage underneath. The bullet, you step up to that barrel roof ceiling there. As opposed to a flat ceiling, a little bit extra headroom. The U dinette. Right across in the entertainment center. Does come with TV and radio. Again, we take them out for theft purposes. Nice kitchen. I think they did a good job with the backsplash this year. Lighter cabinetry, of course, it's a bullet feature right now. And then this is the upgraded 10.2 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So it runs on 12 volt only. So always on going down the road, running off your battery, trucks charging your batteries, refrigerator staying cold, freezer staying cold. And then uh, upgrade to a bullet from a crossfire again is a residential 60 by 80 bed as opposed to a RV short 60 by 74. Lots of storage in the bedroom. And then again, both the uh, power 110 and USB ports back there for phones and books and lamps and CPAPs if folks have CPAPs. Laundry chute, spot for a TV in the bedroom. All in all, I really think they did a really nice job in this 250. If you have any other questions or want to see anything that I didn't get to show you again, uh, please let me know and I will take another look. Thanks, guys.